how to just squat very well. And the thing is, squat is one of the best exercise which actually involves more than 50% uh, uh, of your voluntary muscles. So it also gives you the maximum amount of benefit. Uh, the problem is, even though it looks like a simple exercise, it's also the exercise which, on which most people get it wrong. Okay, now we're going to learn how to do it the best possible way so that we get the maximum benefit. Uh, so, uh, what I want you to do is, uh, I want you to uh, keep, keep your feet about shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Possible, wider, wider, still wider, wider, still. Okay, now turn your toes out about uh, 30 to 40 degrees. So, feet are about shoulder width apart or wider and, uh, and the toes are pointing around 30 to 40 degrees. Now, all I want you to do is, I just want you to go down, just stay there. Go, down, go all the way down, just go down, all the way down, stay there. And with your hand, palms together. Now push your knees out. Okay, that's it. Now I want you to make sure that the knees the, uh, stay on line with the toes. Now just stay there. Get used to that position. So you got to get used to that position. And come up. Okay. Now while coming up, let's go down again. Yeah. And come up. Now while coming up, see here, what I want you to think of is that I want you to drive from here. Okay. Now go down. Now drive from here, press from the hand, press from the hand. Now, can, can you see that? Now the thing is he came with the hip first. Now that is very important for you to understand that the drive comes from the this position. Let's go down again. Now press my hand up, press my hand up. Yes, see that? That drive is coming from the hip. Even if the hip comes up first and the shoulder coming up later, that's okay. Yeah? To start with, it is important for us to learn that it is a hip exercise coming from the it's the bum pressing up. It is not a quad exercise. It is not for the quad or for the knees. It's from the hips. Now let's go again. So pressing my hand up. Yes, yes, learn to do that. Yeah, very well done. So now you're getting the try. So press my hand up, coming up. So what you need to do is get into that hole and get your ass out of the hole. Okay, let's go. So get the ass out of the hole, coming up. Yes, very good. Now, so we have understood that the feet have to be apart, toes apart, and this is a hip exercise, pressing from the, coming up from the hip, and not coming up from the knees. Now let's go down again one last time. So when you, while coming up, so you're drawing from the hip, you drive from the hip, and knees at the same time. This kind of pass. Okay, now let's try to do it in the bar. Now while doing the bar, you have to, uh, to get the back position right. Now, what I want you to do, understand this, in only in the squat, I want to take the posture. Yeah, make sure the bar is in the scapula, not too high, slightly on the lower side. Yeah, come up, come back. Now, I just want to stay there. So we can get this position right, come, come from here. So now, understand this thing, okay? Now, this position, which is low, bar is low, not high, yeah? And as you can see from the side, he's leaning slightly forward. This is perfectly all right. Now, Understand this, in this position is not comfortable, but it is tight. So it is tight, the elbows are back, so everything else, everything is helping you to maintain that position. Now, a uh, few, few things to remember. Now, because his, uh, as you can see, he's slightly leaning forward, which is the right position, okay? Now, some of the uh, physical therapists or uh, the physical therapists may say that this is not the ideal position. Actually, if, in fact, if you are straight up, if you are straight, it is actually harder. There is a sheer force on the spine. It is not ideal. So vertical position, total vertical position is not an ideal position. It's not a straight path. Now, as you, as you can see, Sneha, so I want you to look down. Yeah, that's it. Now, that is an ideal position. If you start looking up, or the, well, or least the chest rises, actually becomes harder on that person. You get it? Uh, yeah, you understand, right? Yeah. So you're understanding that what is, that's what is happening. I want you to put the bar back. Okay, good. So understand. So, uh, so we're getting it right. So the bar position, so you understand that it is slightly like this. So it is the, that is the ideal position. This is not an ideal position, right? Still, because that is actually putting more stress on the spine and the shear, uh, shear forces on the spine is much harder. Yeah, it's not an ideal position. So what you have to understand is it is driving from here. This, even if it is going horizontal, it's okay. You get it? Okay, let's go. So I just want to do five reps. Make, uh, make sure that you get the small. And low bar position of the scapula. Going back. Feet are shoulder with the part of wider. Toes are pointing up. Yeah. 
Now all I want to do is get into that hole somewhere. Go into that hole, go down into that hole, and drive from here, drive from here. That's okay, that's perfect. This is good, you're gonna feel any power. Now go down. And drive from here, drive from here, very good. Two, let's do three more. Drive from here, snare. Drive from here. Very good. Let's go. Now understand this thing, so a few of the mistakes one which uh, which you'll be doing right now, I want to do the mistakes so that uh, the people can understand, is the fact that you can if you are too straight, it is not ideal. Now let's go. Now this is the one which is the mistakes we are making, okay? Now okay. feet fine, just stay there. Now feel the we'll do one more mistake at a time. Now go down from here, can you? Go down from here. And trying to be two verticals. See, that vertical is harder on you, right? Yes, yes? isn't it harder? Yeah. yeah, to do it right. And try to stand vertical me. Yeah, this is also harder. Yeah, yeah? it's on the spine, it's much more yeah. harder. Yeah. So let's go back again. Now uh, let's go again. Go down to me. And get into that hole and drive from here. Drive from the hips. Yes, well done. Yeah, that's it. So this angle to be maintained, this thing. I understand the knees while going down. Go down to me. The knees can go forward slightly and coming up. Well then, try it from the hips. Let's go back. Good. So what have we understood? The fact that you have to get into that hole, getting into the hole, driving from the hips. Now when you're driving from the hips, you have to uh, realize the fact that you are, when you're doing it, try to imagine that you're pressing the floor away with the heel of your foot. Heel of your foot and driving it up. Now, if, now, a few things, if you do not press from the heel and drive from the, drive from the hips and you start doing it from here, there is more stress on this thing, on the knees, and at the same time the hamstrings are not getting involved, yeah? Which is actually makes it harder to lift heavier, yeah? And heavier, the better you can do, uh, heavier you can lift, the better you can do. At the same time, you'll get more benefits in terms of the hormone release and other, other benefits. Squat is one of the best exercise uh, if done well. This is also the exercise which most people get it wrong. So uh, if you have any other questions in terms of how to do it, yeah, ask your trainer or ask me yeah, if any of the mistakes which are happening. We can also do a uh, uh, um, If you find this hard to get the back position right, which is the back, uh, which is on the back, yeah. Uh, the one to start off with is the goblet squat, which we will do it over here. So hold the goblet. Yeah, it's just in the um, top of the chest, not away from you. It is on top of the chest. And we are going to try and do the same thing again. Okay? So let's go. So go down. Yeah. Right from here, so right from here. Yes, that's it. You're getting it right. Yeah. And not to be too worried. Okay? Right from here. Yes, that's it. Very good. So the weight is in the front. Now if you find that back squat to be too hard, the goblet squat is the one which you can start with and then slowly make it onto the back squat. Let's put it down. So uh, the back squat is the ideal one because in that one you can lift the heaviest amount of weight. Yeah, but we can start up with the goblet squat with the beginners and many of the, in fact, uh, so many of the beginners who do not progress can actually stick to this one, work to a heavier weight and eventually come to that if you want. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for listening and try to do it better.